if I used a guiding point, where would I put that? It's a good question. So I don't want to get into too much of it, but so the way the guide point works, again, you have your therapeutic point, which is typically the opposite side. So let's just make up a fake example. So Neri has back pain. So we're on his left side. So he has back pain. Let's just say it's easy. Let's say at the L5S1 joint on the left, OK? So since his pain's on the left, we would think in mastodon terms we want to treat from the right. That's our therapeutic point. So it's our TP, therapeutic point. For this example, I could pick the elbow. I could pick the wrist. I could pick the shoulder. Let's just pick some of my favorite points. Well, because you guys don't know. We'll pick points that you know. Um, let's just pick Lingu and Dabai. You guys, you guys know those. So that's 2204 and 05. So we know the large intestine. That's where they are. We'll get the kidney. We know we're treating the bone. The bone will treat the bone. We know it's the reactionary of the ischial tuberosity. And so the low back, we'll get the ischium. We know the image is nice. The wrist and the hand is the low back. We know the kidney runs to the low back. The large intestine gets that. So we've got lots of theories as to why it works, right? Plus, we don't have to worry about theory. We know it works. So we know Lingu Dabai gets back pain. So the question would be, where does the guide point go? OK. So again, Lingu Dabai probably has 50 or 60 indications. We want to focus it in on his back. So it goes up his brain and down to his back where he hurts. And we need to guide it. So what we do, and we would have, this is what we have to distinguish. I have to say, OK. Where is his pain? In this example, let's just say his pain is on his bladder channel. OK, we know the bladder runs through the low back. OK. So the guide point needs to be on the same channel on the same side. So we know the point needs to be on the bladder channel. Now the question is where on the bladder channel? TCM, which you guys learn, you guys are probably thinking, well, Brad, it should probably be on the she cleft point of the bladder channel because a she cleft point treats pain. It could be. You could do that. But from a mastodon perspective, the theory says that it should be on either a ying spring or a shoe stream point, preferably a shoe stream point. So that would be bladder 65. That would be your guide point for your back pain. And why a shoestream point? Because the classicals say that shoestream points are for heaviness, dampness, pain that comes and goes. So that's why they pick that. But again, you could say, well, Brad, that's hogwash. I want to use a shoe cleft point. That's fine. I don't, I don't really care. But that's from the, from the dong perspective or how I was taught from the people that learned their acupuncture from Master Dong. That's what they said was that usually use a shoestream point. And you could say, well, Brad, both the pain is on the bladder and, Brad, the pain is on the gallbladder. So then we would need the shoe stream point of the gallbladder as well. So then we'd put in, what, GB43. So you might have two guide points. Usually you don't, but, I mean, I'm just talking out loud. But that's kind of how it works. So typically you're looking for the shoe stream point or the ink spring of the affected channel.